Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing Sugar Baby Dark Bronze Self Tan Mousse. Um, I'll be going over everything you need to know about this self tanning mousse and at the end of this video I'll give you my overall rating of it. Um, so stay tuned for that. The price of this one is $21.75 for a 6 ounce bottle. So that's $3.50 per ounce which is an average price point, probably even a little less than average so I didn't have a problem with the price at all. Um, this is a mousse as I mentioned and it has a guide in it. So it has a brown guide. You could definitely see it as you're applying it to your skin. The mousse's texture is a little bit thin. Um, it's not watery. It's just a light mousse. Um, but it holds its texture nicely. The smell. Um, so it smells initially right out of the bottle. It smells good. It smells like coconut, kind of tropical. But that smell only lasted a few seconds. When I started applying it to my skin, I was overwhelmed with a really strong chemical smell. So I really don't like this, the scent of this one. Um, I actually didn't know when I purchased this, but this is an express mousse. I only found that out when I went to use it and I read the directions. It says just to leave it on an hour. Um, so at least I only had to deal with the bad scent for an hour. But the next morning the scent came back, the chemical smell and DHA. Just not a good smelling product in my opinion. I didn't like it. Um, the ap application of this, um, I used a tanning mousse and I still had some difficulties blending the product into my skin. So the guide just doesn't really want to blend in. You have to really use some elbow grease. It kind of just moves on top of your skin, which is a pain. Also, this one will get on anything you touch. It got on my stool I sat on, my door handles. It leaves a pink brownish color from the color guide, so be really careful with it. The drying time, it didn't dry for the entire hour I had it on. Thankfully, I only had to leave it on an hour, and when it came time to shower, I was excited to get it off me because it was kind of uncomfortable. The drying time wasn't very good. It took forever. As far as the results go, so I left it on an hour. That's all it says to leave it on. And then I showered it off and let it develop for six to eight hours overnight. Come the next morning, I had a very light tan. It definitely looked more like a gradual tan to me, but it doesn't say anywhere on here that this is a gradual tanner. Also, it looked kind of patchy and unnatural, like the color was a yellowy hue on my skin, so it just didn't work with my skin tone. It might work for some of you guys though, but I really didn't like the way my tan looked. I, looked, I wish it was more bronzy, I wish it was darker and more even. Um, so that's what I got as far as the color payoff. And it only lasted two days before it got pretty patchy and started to fade. So for me, I was kind of happy that it faded after two days because I didn't like my tan. But for those of you who are looking for a tanner to last longer, this one just isn't it because it only lasts two days. Um, so that brings me to my overall rating and opinion of this. I gave this self tanner two out of five stars. So it fell short in my eyes. It's not even as good as your average self tanner. But at least I didn't spend an arm and a leg on it. The price point is good. I want to know if you guys have tried this, what kind of tan you got. If it worked with your skin tone, um, make sure to comment below. Um, and for more information on this self tanner and many others, please visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.